these are the Renegade and Renegade XL block batteries from Core SWX. This is a Synity Gear News video, supported by B&H and CVP. Hi guys, my name is Nino from Synity. I'm here at the Core SWX booth at NAB 2023, and I'm here with Ross. How are you? I'm doing well, thanks for asking. First day going well? Yeah, it's going well, it's super busy. Um, I think last year everyone was like, what are we getting into, and this year it feels like back to the same NAB pre-COVID, so it's really great. Exactly, and you guys have a huge booth, that's amazing. Yeah, um, it's good, it's nice. <laughs> yeah. It's large, it's comfy, yeah. and it's convenient for us to sit here, right? Of course, yeah, doing interview. I've never done a seated interview, but it's pretty well, good. That's always a first, yeah, it's pretty good. So let's talk about these nice things sure. you have here. It looks like you're ready for the next blackout, mm -hmm. but I guess that's not what they are for. Yeah, um, so our Renegade series is kind of the maturation of our block battery series. So uh, we released our Maverick, which is our uh, nickel metal hydride 630 watt hour unit about 18 to 24 months ago. It's been very successful. People like the form, so we said, okay, you know, this has always been on our product uh, roadmap. It's just the right time to release it. So we have two different flavors, or three actually. We have the Renegade and then we have the XLs. The Renegade is a polycarbonate housed unit. It's life PO4, lithium iron phosphate. So it's a really robust chemistry. Um, the energy density isn't as good as lithium ion, but I'll get into that in a second. Um, and it's triple seven, 777 watt hour capacity, um, 15 volt, 28 volt, and 48 volt. And most importantly, the 48 volt gives you a true 15 amp out. So it could power the Aperture 600 series to 100%. It could power the uh, Nanlite 720s, 100%. So it's really crucial that you need 15 amps of power for these larger um, uh, high capacity lights. It's fabulous for cameras, obviously, and um, it could uh, definitely, you know, we, we don't say it's a replacement for the Maverick because these are not, lithium ion yeah. in this capacity is rather challenging. But if you're a location shooter, you're someone that just needs it within a radius, you don't have to ship it or fly with it, uh, you can't fly with it. Um, it's a great option and it's super economical. Um, the other great thing is what we're, we're coining now, the thought is to same day cycle the battery packs. If we can charge the packs faster than the user consumes the power, that's a win for the user, it's a win for us because you'll probably go with our product then. So the 777 watt hour capacity charges in three and a half hours with an external charger. So really fast. On normal mains power? Normal AC mains, yeah. 100 to 240. Great. Then what we wanted to do was, this is polycarbonate, it's a 2500 US. Right now, introductory offers $2,000. So it's the lowest cost per watt hour in the industry. Um, what we wanted to do then is make a fully uh, cast aluminum, more water resistant model, similar to our Maverick and lithium ion. So the Renegade Excel series is 1,376 watt hours. Um, it still has the 15, 28, and 48. But what's unique about it is it has internal charge. You could charge in five and a half hours, or you could plug in our SFQ 40 charger and charge in two and a half hours. So you're getting two and a half hour charges for almost a 1400 watt hour pack. So we think- How long do you think, like when people use this for a light, let's say, and I'm not talking about maximum output of the light, what is your average, uh, if you know, like, no, not the lifespan, but how long, how long, yeah, what's the average runtime for an average use of a light with one of these? Right, so if you're using these with a uh, 600D, let's say, yeah. um, if you had it on 100%, for two straight hours, you just about deplete the battery pack. Now, no one ever does that, really, yeah. full output. So these could theoretically last five, six hours. Right. Yeah. And then if you had this under, let's say, an Alexa 35, you're looking at like eight hours, probably, of yeah. continual runtime. So if you have two of them, you basically can do that yeah. forever. That, that's, that's the name of the game. Um, I think you, you have two of these on the lower uh, consuming productions, two of these, and you could seriously cycle these out charge-wise before you consume it. Um, the other thing we did with the Renegade XL is we made a 48 volt only model. And the key here was making sure we could power the Aperture 1200 from one single battery source. So this, that one has uh, 48 volts, 15 amps out, one output. This has 48 volts, 15 amp dual output. I don't even know, I mean, people used to, you know, buy 
um, block batteries that were not specifically made for filmmaking applications, right? And uh, now you guys have this, which is specifically targeted at our industry. Um, I mean, right. there, there have been others, but it's, it's, I think it, it used to be a niche for a long time, but now with LED lights being so powerful and being able to power them for comparatively, you know, less power essentially, and just having the ability to have a light that strong out and about in the woods without any power supply is amazing for me, yeah. Yeah, and definitely we're very cognizant of the market and we understand people are using, you know, these um, inverter type battery packs that you can get on Amazon and eBay and all this. And if they work for you, great, right? But the key here is this, these, this is silent power, yeah. right? There's not a big fan going on. Um, they're made for our industry. They're serviceable. Uh, we support them. We have global support that can help you in the event of an issue. And, you know, we're trying to make it as economical as possible. Um, and we hope people choose core. Yeah, no, it's great. I mean, I, I, I've been shooting in the woods for many times, like narrative stuff in the middle of the night. And you would just run, you know, like high voltage power cables for miles, basically right. not, not to hear the generator anymore. I mean, this is, uh, it's just a completely different world now. I think it's amazing. Yeah, and they're very intuitive. They have LCDs. Uh, this has more of a fixed LCD, but um, the XLs have a beautiful, really strong, protected by Gorilla Glass OLED screen um, that gives you full diagnostics. So th there's more to the pack than just plug yeah. it in the wall. We're, we're trying to give you information also. Um, our XL units also work with our mesh network, which uh, works also with that battery wall behind us so you can get the data up in the cloud cool. and uh, we are working on a diagnostic bluetooth app for the renegades so okay. um you know with when people think core and it comes to cinema power i hope everyone thinks technology pushing it forward we like to be first to market and really offer uh innovative kit that solves everyday problems yeah very great um you talked about pricing for this one what about for the other models? Sure, so uh, like I said, $24.99 usually MSRP. These will be down $19.99 either through May 31st or while. We only have a fixed number of those. We're offering introductory. Uh, the XLs are $44.99 and the SFQ 40 charger, should you want it, is uh, $17.99. So it's a, it's a lot of power. Yeah. They're large power supplies um, and uh, you, you definitely have to support it with good quality AC mains to charge that fast. Well, I can see these things live really well in rental houses as well, because that's exactly, you know, like a lot of people just rent lights and then realize, well, actually I need always mains power. And, you know, if you have, the, that's a typical kind of thing. I go to a rental house, I need one of these and often they just don't have it. Um, yeah, we, we have a large loyal uh, rental and hire company base, um, but we also want to make sure we can provide power to the owner uh, yeah. op market. And I think the, the Renegade is a perfect option for that market. Do you see a lot of people using them with cameras as well, or it's more light? No, I think it's both, right? You, you, have, you have your cake and you can eat it too, yeah. right? So you can use this for your lights, you could use this for um, cinema equipment. Uh, we actually, uh, there's a bunch of content online, we've had these out for about six months, uh, disguised as Mavericks. Right. Um, and what happened was we started getting requests for a few more on set. I talked to my reps and um, I'm a pretty passionate person, I also get frustrated. I'm like, well, we agreed on two, and then we found out they weren't using them for lighting, they were using them for the cameras as well, and they just kept rotating them. So we had some sets that had like six of these on set, um, and they were using them for everything because they're just, they're not heavy either. I didn't get into weight. These are uh, just under 22 pounds. Uh, these are a little beefier, they're about 30 pounds. But, um, you know, they serve the job, they do it great. Uh, these are rated for about 4,000 cycles, so super robust. Um, and the reaction so far, it's only been four or five hours, has been outstanding. That's great. Yep. Uh, talking about cycles, actually, what happens, you know, like when you're through with your uh, cells? Do you guys replace them or? Yeah, we can on these. We don't do it on onboards. We have a trade in and save program where we'll give you 25 to 30% off because really, when it comes to onboards, it's like replacing the engine on a car that has 100,000 miles, right? We, we, our product development cycle is very fast, and we'd rather see you in a new pack with new technology. On these, it's all modular based. Yeah. So we can extract the cell pack and replace it on any one of these, as well as if you had a component fail, it's very simple to service. Oh, that's amazing. Awesome, and availability? These are shipping next week. 
got ahead of the game. They're fully certified already for all the regions, UL, UKCA, CE, PSE. Um, these are shipping around Cinegear, just about the 1st of June. Talk about shipping. Can you actually ship them, like, uh, like across the Atlantic? Them. or You can ship them. Yeah, uh, anything lithium ion has to be shipped as dangerous goods. Yeah. So you do need a dangerous goods shipper. Um, obviously, we are one of those people, uh, but we do have a distribution network that can receive them and then distribute them from there globally. Very cool. Well, um, very interesting product. I think it's going to be very successful. Thanks for your time, Ross. All right, thanks. For and Bye. have a great show. Appreciate and it's it. just getting started. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, guys. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned to Synity for more gear news from NAB 2023. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks.